Hey you all, welcome back to another video on creating star patterns in Python. Previously, we have covered two primary topics that were creating a left half pyramid and a downward left half pyramid. And primary because these are the most fundamental pyramid patterns that we'll need. And in today's video, we're going to use the combination of these patterns to create the right half pyramid. So before getting into our today's video, make sure that you've already watched the previous videos so you can understand the concept better. So let's have a look at what we're going to create today. For today, our code is the right half pyramid and this is what it looks like. So before we get to coding, I want you to notice three things. Number one, whenever we code, our code always begins to print from the left side. And number two, all the space that you see before the pattern is nothing but sprinted space right before the star. And now that we've established that this is space is printed, what I want you to notice is that our today's pattern is nothing but a combination of the two patterns that we've done earlier, which are the decreasing star pattern and the increasing star pattern. So if you look carefully, our today's pattern is simply a combination of the two fundamental patterns that we've done earlier so let's get to coding and see how we can create them now that you know that our number of rows is also the same our outer loop can simply remain the same let's first write down our outer loop for range n which over here is 5 and a print statement also do note that this print statement out here need not be fiddled with because this print statement is responsible for moving on to the next row so if we have to print this you'll see that this is simply responsible for our first row our second row our third row and so forth like we've seen in our previous videos for today our the very first pattern that we want is a decreasing number of spaces so instead of space, let's use a star for now. And how did we create a decreasing number of spaces? We created a loop from the range i to 5 so that it begins to decrease with the value of i. And let's print a hash sign. Let's see what we get. So now we have a decreasing pattern. What we want instead is a decreasing space pattern. But before we get to spaces, Let's see what we want next. So let's comment this out. What we want next is an increasing star pattern. So to create an increase in the star pattern, we will go back to what we did in the very first video. And we'll start our loop from the value of i plus 1. So it runs one more than the time, the number of times the outer loop is running after every row. So let's print that out and let's see. And now we have a star pattern that has an increase in the number of stars with every row. Now to combine these, let's just uncomment this. And what we have now is first a decrease in the number of hashtags in the same time, an increase in the number of stars. Instead of hash signs, we can simply add our space. And one more thing that you need to notice here is that we do not need this extra space running right here. We still want our number of columns to be five. So for that, we want our first nested loop, which is this loop right here, to run one less than the number of times our second nested loop is running. And how do we make that happen? We will simply have to add one to the interval that we were initially creating for our first nested loop. Let's see, how does that look? That's it. It's that simple. So you can see that this was just a combination of a decreasing space pattern and an increasing star pattern. Our very first loop, which is the outer loop, was responsible for our first row, which is right here. And with the value of i, our first nested loop ran four times to print a space. After that, our second nested loop ran once to print the star. And once both these loops were done, we had a print statement that simply brought our outer loop to the next line. In the next value, our first nested loop ran three times and the second nested loop ran two times. This went on and on, just like we saw previously, until and unless we had this pattern look exactly like this right here. 
So just like this, we can also create a downward half pyramid for which the only thing we want different from our previous pattern is that our first nested loop is going to be an increasing number of spaces and our second nested loop is going to be a decrease in the number of stars. So let's code it out for a downward right pyramid. Let's first write out the outer loop. And now that we want an increasing number of spaces, let's just print out an increasing number of triangles. Let's print a hash first. Let's start the interval from i, so it goes up to 5. And let's change the variable from i to j. Let's print a star. And obviously finish the outer loop by the print statement. And let's see what we get. So, in this case, we have first an increasing number of hashtags and then we have a decreasing number of stars. But again, in this case, our hash column is running one more time, which we do not want. So, our first nested loop needs to be corrected from i plus 1 to i. So, it can run only one less number of times from our second nested loop. I forgot to correct it as a space. Let's see. And that's it. That is what we wanted. We have a right half pyramid and we have a downward right half pyramid. For our next video, we'll be creating a pyramid video. So why don't you go ahead and try to create a pyramid using the two fundamental pyramids that we've covered in the previous videos and the application from this video. So until the next time, stay tuned and I hope to see you soon.